I'm back. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Thanks for joining me on this fantastic Friday. And as I said in the um, long and illustrious intro there, I'm back. Had to take the day away from the microphone yesterday. But here I am today. It's Friday. That means it's free coaching Friday. Time to play Stump the Coach. You have a question, a comment. Or a uh, topic that you would like for me to hit, drop that down in the comments. It is too late today to unseat Joe from being first, but you can <laughs> compete for second place. And uh, leave a comment down there. Say hi. Let me know that you are watching. And hey, if you're listening on your favorite podcast catcher, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, whatever, thanks for doing that. I appreciate that. Um. An interesting, just an interesting side note. And if you are listening on your podcast catcher, come over to uh, seven minutes in the morning dot com, join the conversation. I'm going to give y'all just a minute here. I'm going to vamp for a second so you have time to drop a question in there. But interesting uh, little side note. I was looking at stats the other day, and so you guys that are watching on the video, those folks listening on the podcast, they're they're beating you most days. More people listening through the podcast um, or podcast catcher than watching the video. So get out there, share with your networks, get those folks in here and watching. All right. So you still have time to get your question in if you want to uh, play Stump the Coach. Good morning, Abby. But uh, while we're doing that, I want to hit a question that came up during the week uh, this week. And, you know, we talk a lot about um, in order to to be successful, to reach your goal, to make the things happen that you want to have happen, you first have to be really clear on what they are. But, but the next step after that, one that we miss a lot, is figuring out how we're going to keep score. This actually comes from, uh, and that reminds me, I need to turn that on. And I'll go ahead and throw that up there, too. This actually is step number two out of the Fast Five program. How are you going to know if you're winning? What are the steps that tell you? What are the milestones, the markers that give you an idea that you're on the right path? We set this big goal. Sometimes it's a big, hairy, audacious goal out here that we want to pursue. And then we just go to work. You know, the, the example that always comes to mind, I don't know if it's the best example, is eating the elephant. Right? You don't eat the elephant in one bite, you eat it one bite at a time. Maybe it's winning the World Series. I'll use a non-eating the elephant example. You don't win the World Series all at once. You first have to win hundred. You know, the better part of 162 games before that, before you even get to compete. So what are those milestones that let you know? So that each week, each day, each week, each quarter, you can look at your progress and tell whether you are moving toward the goal or not. It's a really simple thing, and we do it even if you've ever taken a road trip, right? You've done this. You might not have known it, but you've done it, right? You're taking a road trip. You cross the state line. Hey, everybody, look, we're in. You know, we're in Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas. That's a marker toward of your progress. And some folks are way more intentional about it. You'll see them. They'll get out there, stand in front of the big sign, they take a picture. The point is, if you don't know what those markers of success are, if you don't know how you can tell whether you're winning or not, how will you do it? How will you know? Because if you wait till the end, and this is where we lose our motivation. This is why this is so important to do while we are in the moment. That big goal can lose its allure when we're in the, in the grind every day. And we need these interim markers to remind us that the work we're doing is paying off. All right. So don't lose, don't forget those, don't um don't feel like there's something that 
would be nice to have. Think today. Take just a few minutes as we wrap up today. How can you tell if you're winning? How can I tell if I'm winning? That's the question I want you to ask yourself. Say it out loud. You're by yourself right now. And if you're not, everybody else needs to be doing this too. How can I tell if I'm winning? Put that reticular activation part of your brain to work for you. If you ask that question, it will go to work trying to find the, the answer for you. And we'll start bringing them to you. Right? What you focus on, you get more of. How can I tell if I'm winning? This is also a really good time to remind you, don't focus on the markers that indicate you're not winning. God, I still didn't get that done today. Man, I hate having to write this over on my next to-do list. I mean, sometimes pain is a great motivator, and I've, I've done that. Having to write it on the next list is just painful. So um, that's my my pain reminder to hurry up and get it done. What happens more often than not, I just quit writing it on the next list. Still don't do it. Just quit writing it. What you focus on, you get more of. Focus on the successful completion. As I meant it, um, mentioned, that is step number two out of the Fast Five program. I realized this week that I had made a mistake with the Fast Five program. It had a, uh, a pay gate on it. So if you have been there trying to get to it uh, and changed your mind when you saw the pay gate, I apologize. Because I've been telling everybody forever and always it's free. Because it is free. But that's fixed now. So go there and check it out. And uh, go through that program. This is step number two. How will you know if you're winning? And you can go, oh, excuse me, you can go to uh, tomrigsby.com slash fast five. Get the whole program. Find out all five steps plus the bonus step that's tacked on there at the end. All right, it's Friday. That means the weekend's coming up. You guys have a great weekend. I'll be back on Monday with a magnificent Monday edition of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you take care. You figure out how you can tell if you're winning. I'll talk to you on Monday.